For those of you taking academic and creative writing, uh, we're starting week three, uh, where we're trying to complete our first draft by this Friday. Today's Tuesday, and so I recommended yesterday in class that uh, try to create one of your five paragraphs each day uh, with the idea that you upload it to your Notion page, and then I can go in and take a look at it. Now, we've been creating or including a lot of assignments uh, so far this semester, uh, basically in week one, week two, uh, that really helps us lead up to the writing of our first draft. We started off with a problem statement. We completed a research matrix. And I'm asking everyone to also complete a skeleton outline. It's going to include your thesis statement and your three topic sentences. So I would recommend in your respective documents, put the most recent information towards the top. So your problem statement will go along the bottom. Then above that, I would put your, um, I would put your, uh, your research matrix. And then above your research matrix, I would include your outline. Now to demonstrate this without going into a particular document here, um, you, know, you can include these blocks. You have different options and different blocks that you can include in Notion. And so when you include these, uh, I'm just going to create, just for the sake of simplicity, here, I'm going to add just a quick example of two texts. Now you'll notice that uh, whenever you hover over each of these sections, you get a little, uh, uh, you get a, a, an option to click and drag these, right? So you can move these up and down. So this is what you can use to move your text around so that you have your oldest information that you did first at the very bottom of your document and then the most recent towards the top. So you're going to have your, basically, your essay should appear at the very top of your document. And again, the rest of the assignments that we completed over the last two weeks below, below that. Okay, so I think that would just make it a little bit easier to uh, find the information, find the most current information. And uh, do make sure that you are um, asking questions. If you're not sure, if you want me to review something outside of class, that you send me a, a message. And again, the easiest way to do that is in your respective documents, all of you have an option of uh, adding a discussion. If it doesn't appear here at the, at the top, you should have an option to, uh, it should say discussion. You just click there, and then it will appear uh, below the properties that are listed document and then I would uh, use the ampersand and then my then my name should pop up select my name and then create the message and I think this will be the easiest way I, I typically will get notifications up here and uh, then we'll go directly to your question and so uh, the key for this week again is to not get behind and try to each day create something uh, that we can discuss or that I can look at or that you feel you're making progress throughout the week so not to leave everything to the last minute. Our first draft again is going to be due this Friday and uh, I'll be looking at all of the essays this weekend as we work following week uh, to make the final draft. We'll talk about the error codes, talk about specifics of uh, writing unity, cohesion and coherence. We'll talk more in detail about that. But I just wanted to give you guys a heads up and uh, try to organize your respective documents as I've mentioned here. And again, leave comments or questions as needed.